Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's move on to an, another interesting pattern 3. So let's see what do we have here. So you would have seen that perfect squares of numbers formed by same digits form beautiful patterns. Now these patterns which we are going to talk about now, these patterns are not formed for all numbers. These are formed only for some specific numbers where the same digit gets repeated over and again. So let us look at some examples. For example, 4 square is equal to 4 into 4 which is 16. 34 square. So if you actually find out the square of 34, it is 1, 1, 5, 6. Now look at the square of this number, 334 square. So the result is 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6. Now if you even increase one more 3 in the number, instead of 3, 3, 4, you now have 3, 3, 3, 4. So its square becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 5, 6. So just look at the pattern. So do you think that it is again making a very interesting pattern? Yes, it is. Now, this is, I mean, I really do not want to tell you that it happens with all the numbers. It happens only with some specific numbers and especially with those numbers where you have repetition of digits. Like here you see the digit 3 is getting repeated over it again. So if you compare the numbers for whose squares you see this uh, pattern, you see that initially there was no 3, then 1, 3, 2, 3, 3 threes, 4 threes and so on. So it happens only with these kind of numbers where you repeat digits. Let's look at one more pattern here. It's one, 11 square is 121 then 101 square is 10201, 1001 square is 1002001. So you see what happens is as the number of zeros between the two ones is increasing on the left hand side, the number of zeros on the right hand side are also increasing and these are like the real values. So it, it's uh, very amazing to see that these are real calculations and with numbers you have such beautiful things existing. Now looking at this, if I ask you that what would be the square of this number? So I increase one more zero. So very easily looking at the pattern, you do not need to do the multiplication at all. Just by looking at the pattern, you can see that earlier there were five zeros. Now this would be six. So this becomes like this. So this side instead of four you have five zeros. This side also instead of four you should have five zeros. So just by looking at the pattern you know you can tell squares of even bigger numbers than these. Like for in this case also if I tell you what would be the square of this number. So I have increased one more three. So what would happen? So the number of ones earlier was five. So I increased the number of one Again, earlier there were four fives, so I increase five also by one more and six. So just by looking at the pattern without doing actual multiplication, you can actually predict squares of some bigger numbers as well. So let's try this one. Observe the following pattern and supply the missing numbers. So here again you see a similar pattern and you have to fill up the blanks. So see here what's happening. First, for these kind of questions, first you have to very carefully observe the pattern that is taking place. What is the pattern that is being followed? For example, here what happens is, as you increase a zero in between, the number of zeros increased here, in between one and twos. Here again, you increased one more one. So basically, earlier you increase, you just put one zero, now you have put zero one, zero now you have put zero one zero one zero so gradually as you are increasing the number so what is happening to the pattern so earlier it was one two one there were no zeros in between then it became one zero two zero one then it became one zero two zero three zero two zero one so basically what's happening is at every step we see that a new number is getting introduced like earlier it was one to one then 20 was introduced in between then in the third step 30 was introduced in between so what will happen in the fourth step what do you think so in the fourth step 40 will get introduced in between so you will have 40 in between and then on the left hand side you would have 10, 20, 30 and on the right hand side what will you have? 30, 21. So this would be your next number because just look at the pattern. Earlier it was 1 to 1. Then it was 10, 21. 
then it was 10 20 30 21 so next it is 10 20 30 40 30 21 because here we are observing that if you look at especially at this step it becomes clear that you have 30 here 10 20 on this side this side also you have 20 but the last digit is always one so now that you have increased the center number to 40 so this side you will have 10 20 30 this side you will have 30 20 so in the fifth step you see the center number is 50 so now you have 10 20 30 40 this side you have 40 30 20 but this time what would be the number this side now let's see how the pattern is increasing on this side earlier it was 11 then it was 101 so what was the change one zero is was inserted in between the two ones next was 10101 so what is happening you see an extra one zero so from this step onwards you see at every step this one zero is an extra thing that is getting added so initially it was 101 so here one extra 10 got added so it became 10101 in this step one more extra 10 got added so it became 1010101 10, so what will happen in this step one more 10 one will get added and then this entire number that is 1010101 so in this fashion just looking at the pattern and analyzing it well you can uh, fill up the blanks given in the pattern. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.